Right, so this is quite an interesting question. I've got three redox systems, um, which they've shown me, and they've set up two cells, and they want me to list uh, the three redox systems in order by adding the labels C, D, and E to the table. Key thing to note is these two are the same. So that cell and that cell are the same half cell. So first of all, I think we can see that this one here, which is um, D, is more positive than C. So D is more positive. So let's say D is more positive than C. But C is more positive than E. C more positive than E. So therefore, the most negative is going to be E. Um, the most positive is going to be D. And in the middle is C. Right, okay, so moving on to B. Standard cell is set up by between a redox system D and a standard hydrogen half cell and a standard potential D is plus 0.34 volts. The cell delivers a current for a length of time and the pH decreases. What is the pH of the solution in the standard half cell? Well, you know, the, the, the um, concentration of hydrogen ions in the standard hydrogen half cell is one mole per decimal cube. So, <coughs> pH is minus log to the base 10 of one mole per decimal to cube. And if you do that, it comes to zero. Explain in terms of the electropotentials and why and equilibrium why the pH of the solution in the hydrogen half cell decreases as its <coughs> cell um, delivers current. Well, let's have a look. Um, the hydrogen um, redox system is a more negative. So therefore, H2 is going to H plus plus, going to 2H plus plus 2 electrons. Therefore, my concentration of H plus is going to increase. And therefore, as my concentration of H plus increase, my pH will decrease like so. Okay, so now I want me to write an equation for the overall cell reaction <coughs> that takes place. So we've said that H2 and it's reacting with Ag plus ions to give me H plus ions plus Ag. Whoops, it's easy, like so. Um, so if we do that, I've obviously got to balance this out. I'm going to need two of those, two of those, and two of those to get this all balanced out nicely. Okay, so we're now uh, looking at uh, the cyanide ion. In aqueous solution, cyanide ion and acid-base equilibrium is set up. Complete the equation um, for this. So, cyanide is going to act as a base here, isn't it? Um, you can't act on acid, you have to make hydrogens. So, he is going to make HCM, which means water becomes hydroxide. If we label this one up, he is base one, which means he must be acid one, um, which means he must be acid two, and he would be base two, like so. Explain in terms of <coughs> the equilibrium why acidic conditions should not be used for cells containing cyanide ions well if you have a look at this um if i've got this equilibrium going on 
H plus. Okay, so the next question wants me to explain in terms of equilibrium why acidic conditions should not be used with cells containing cyanide ions. Okay, so if I add um, acid, it's going to react with my hydroxide ions to give me water. So my concentration of hydroxide is going to decrease. My equilibrium will shift to the right hand side. which means I make more hydrogen cyanide. Um, so it shifts to the right hand side to produce hydrogen cyanide. Right, okay, so now we're gonna look at some direct ethanol fuel cells. Um, and it's given me the half equation reaction of ethanol, the ethanol electrode at the direct ethanol fuel cell, uh, and that's shown below. One important difference between a fuel cell and a modern storage cell the fuel cell operates continuously as long as you've got a fuel supply and oxygen. One advantage of using ethanol rather than hydrogen, well, ethanol is a liquid, so obviously much easier to transport. And so the overall reaction um, in a direct ethanol fuel cell is the same as complete combustion of ethanol. So what we need to do is write the equation for that. Um, so we are going to have Ethanol, so C2H5OH plus O2 is going to give me carbon dioxide and water. Uh, okay, so I have got two carbons there, so I need two carbons there. I've got six over there, so I need three of those. So if you balance out your oxygens, you should have to have... Uh, I've got seven oxygens over here, so I need three there, because I've already got one there. Okay, so now I need to deduce <coughs> the half equation for the reaction of the oxygen electrode. So, um, this here is the equation that I've got to get to. That's my full equation. Uh, sorry, no, it's not. That's my half equation. This here is the equation that I need to get to. So, I need to construct another half equation. So, let's cancel. So, I've got that in both, so I don't need to worry about that. I haven't got oxygen in this one to get this one, so I'm going to need 3O2, first of all. Um, now, quite interesting, I've got 3H2O here, but in my final equation, I make 3H2O here. So in my half equation, I'm going to have to have 6H2O, because when I add that one and that one together, I've still got to be left over with 3. Now I've got 12H plus in this half equation, which don't appear here, so let's get rid of those 12H plus and also 12 electrons, which I'm going to need to get rid of as well. And I think that will be it. So, I mean, obviously you can simplify that. You can divide by 3 and you end up with 3O2 plus 4H plus plus 4 electrons to give me 2H2O, like so. Okay, so I now need to use an oxidation number to show that oxidation reduction takes place. <coughs> so let's have a look. Um, obviously, this is my overall equation that's um, happening. Uh, but if I, so we can work with that. Um, what's gonna go on here? Well, hopefully you can see that my carbon here let's have a look hydrogen is going to be plus one so that gives me plus five overall um, then I'm going to have oxygen which is minus two and a hydrogen which is plus one so overall that is going to give me um, plus four so carbon there has got to be minus two each carbon has got to be minus two and in here Oxygen is minus two and I've got two of them, so that gives me minus four. So carbon there is plus four. So carbon has gone from minus two to plus four. Let's have a look at oxygen. Oxygen, of course, there is zero and it's minus two there. So oxygen has gone from zero to minus two. 